Hello everyone, myself Dr. Vijay Kumar Vishwakarma. Hope you are doing well. Today we will discuss how to configure the uh, AMBER and AMBER tool. First of all, we have to focus few things. These are the prerequisites to run any software. Uh, in that case, the whole script is shown here. So, uh, I will take a demo to install these two tools one by one. Okay. So, let us start the tutorial. Just uh, start the Google and search under Amber MD. Now uh, we have to go for the uh, Amber website and here from download Amber. You see, if you are want to install the uh, install the Amber tool, you have to download this 541 MB Amber tool that is free for everywhere. Everywhere. Now the Amber, which is the main part that is uh, mainly used for the MD simulation. It will can be compiled on CPU and GPU with parallelization, etc. So this software has some license terms. But for, but for academic users, this is also free. Uh, so just put your name and institution. And if you are uh, uh, using for non-academic purposes, then you have to pay some uh, money. Uh, that will be uh, be decided by the company that is ambermd.org but for academic user it is free so download these two items just i am showing uh, you here that is uh, i downloaded these two items just here This is one Amber 24 and this is second Amber 24, Amber tools 24.tar.bz2. These two files, once you have downloaded, after that we can start the tutorial. So before going to install a software, we have to install some prerequisite softwares which are responsible for the proper functioning or installation of the software. So we have to start one by one. First of all, update your system. Type your password and press enter. Since I performed this installation before, uh, one day before, so I think uh, some of the software will uh, tell you that these installation are previously done. So don't worry, if you install this software successfully, just like see here, zero upgrade, zero, zero newly installed. It means I have installed this software previously. Now, the whole script I can give you in the description, but there are some key points. So you can uh, watch this video as a whole. So the chances of error must be less. So we have to install these all one by one. So since I installed these previously, that's why uh, my video will does not take much more time. But in your case, I think it will take too much time to install these softwares. It is compiled on G4TAN. So we have to install the G4TAN, Flex and etc. Now, Now install the flex. Apart from flex, a Bison software also is used. If you get a error, then you can also install the Bison. But in my case, I think uh, this script will be working. In uh, most of the cases, I think everybody have the 
python if you do not have python then you can install the python the script uh, command for the installing python is this one just copy and paste i think most of the cases we have installed the python if you do not have python then you must have to install this but these two commands where you can get error basically this is mainly required for the old version of ubuntu since i am using the ubuntu 24 version that is 24.04 so in your case if your version is old then you have to run this command otherwise no need to run this command in my case as i am running this command it is showing the error just see here because the python python this to tails extra has no installation candidate because in latest version it is removed so you don't have to much focus on these things in these two commands you are relaxed so don't uh, hesitate that you are getting an error in this command uh, the command has no much more meaning for the latest version of ubuntu but in uh, earlier versions uh, you can use these two commands now we have to uh, if we want to configure with the cuda toolkit for the gpu acceleration we have to install the nvidia cuda toolkit otherwise there is no need to install the nvidia toolkit since i am compiling on my cpu that's i am skipping this command now download the ember ember 24 ember tool 24 and untar these two so since i downloaded i am just going to untaring these two files just before untaring i will show you that this this is the ember 24 tar dot bz and this is the ember tool 24 dot tar dot bz2 file so we have to untar these two files first of all i am untaring the ember tool 24 and after that we have to untar the ember 24 so just wait Now we have to untar the Ember 24. So we have to untar. Now just copy and paste this command. Second thing, if you want to install the Miniconda, then you can install the Miniconda by using this link. But in my case, since I already installed Miniconda, because in my case, before the terminal, a base word is activated. That is the base environment of Miniconda is activated. So I'm not going to install this one. If you do not have the Miniconda installation, you can go for this. Otherwise, uh, in this case, no, just see this base word this indicate that you install the mini conda but in my case if you do not install the mini conda then it does not hamper the installation of software because software al already installed its local mini conda to the umber 24 src directory i will show you later so now we have to change the directory to uh, Amber 24 SRC and again to build. So just type here cd space Amber 24 SRC cd build. After going to this build directory, we have to locate there are some files. Since I previously compiled the Amber 24, that's why there are too much files. But in your case, you will find some files that are the green in color like this one, this one, and this one, and this one. And rest of the file will not appear to you. So don't be hesitated that uh, you are doing a mistake. 
because I compiled previously. That's why these all files are showing here. Okay. <clears throat> but what to do you just go for the next command and copy this, this command and paste in terminal. Dot slash run underscore c make now press enter and just wait. You see here, uh, it is already building its live bio python tree locally now. Most of the modules uh, and uh, uh, mini softwares that like uh, the Perl module of chemistry mole, it is checking for the uh, these modules. If these are available, then it will install. Other otherwise, it will skip. In my case, uh, could not find LBO, could not find plumbed. These are the missing. So this uh, this software is installed locally. But don't worry, if anything missing. In last step, you will get an error, and if the error is more significant, then you have to rerun the command. Just see here. Third party library, just like Blast, Lapack, these are the math libraries basically. These libraries are it is using uh, for the uh, installation. So now in finally it will also uh, so which feature will be enabled or not just see here uh, before uh, the running the uh, command just see. just see here this is the installation find the umber source that's why it is building umber tool and umber both the same command if do you you do not to uh, untar the umber 24.tar.bz2 file then it will only build the umber tools but since i also compiling the umber and umber tools both that's why it is uh, giving a message that it is compiling both now <coughs> these are the uh, uh, features which is it is building and these are the features which is it is not building. So in case like uh, the GPU utilities like CUDA, I am not building because my laptop is not supporting the GPU. You uh, in this state, your uh, computer will take approximately fifteen to thirty minutes. But in my case, because I previously compiled everything, that's why it takes less time. That is the fifty-eight point zero second or one one to two minutes. So generation done. And builds file have been written to this thing. Now it is saying that if errors are reported, search for the CMake error file. Since in my case there is no any significant error, that's why I will move for the next command that is the sudo make install. And this is the last command. So it will build and it will take approximately 30 minutes so i am pausing the video and after the successful completion of the command i will resume the uh, recording since installation is successfully completed uh, just see here uh, in last you are not getting getting any proper error means this uh, installation is successful now we have to check the installation whether the installation is working or not so in that case uh, just close the terminal and reopen so that the uh, build file have been written to a particular directory will take effect from immediately so just open the terminal Now we have to activate the software. This is the command. By typing this command, you can activate your software. Just see here. This is the directory where I install the software. This is the home 
digit. So in this folder, in number 24, a file will be umber.ss. This is the binary file or executable file. So just see here, this is uh, my location, digit, home, digit, and umber24. And is the, in this umber.ss, this file is the main executable file for the umber. So we have to type this command. And there is no any error because we have activated using source command of the Linux. Now we can check it. Just type pdb for umber. Okay, I type the wrong command. It is the pdb. That is pdb for umber. So let's see here the sorry for the wrong time typing. This is the uh, command. It is showing uh, that the, you do not provide any input. These are the uses help. If we we want to check the version of the you know, uh, the software, we can use this v r uh, dash dash version. So just type dash v. You get the version of this software that is 1.6 dev this is the version of the software so in this case we can use the umber tool and umber both software and the installation is successful hope you are doing well if you like my videos please subscribe and share your sharing your subscribing is the motivation for us and also like the videos if you have any doubt, any comments, any error, you can message me or Gmail to my uh, Gmail account and I will uh, answer you all the issues. Thank you. Thank you for watching.